Uh, this is Sylvester Stallone. Uh, right tonight on the Ballistic Report, Ike talks about the uh, Drake and Meek Mill beef. Then he talks about the Deadpool trailer. Then he talks about live news that doesn't involve me. Everything should involve around me. Adrian! Oh, thank you. What a great welcome back. Okay, settle down, folks. Settle down. Welcome to the Ballistic Report. I am your town to host Ike Moore, and this is the show where we break down pop culture. And it's good to be back after a one-week hiatus. If you want to know how it went, I'll do me a favor. Call HBO, ask them to pay me a lot of money to do a comedy special on it, because it was that kind of vacation. But enough about the negative, let's focus on the positive, which is talking about this pop culture universe. So, without further ado, let's get started, shall we? Now, if you've seen the title, you know what our top story is. Jon Stewart's last episode of The Daily Show aired last Thursday. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, it's hard for me to talk about it. Because the reason this show, The Ballistic Report, exists is because of Jon Stewart. What he did for The Daily Show... I'm sure a lot of people have talked about it. He paved the way for us YouTubers in a way. I mean, the way he's able to break down the stupidity of the world, that's a rare art. And it inspired all of us YouTube people to do the same. So, it was hard. It was a hard show for me to watch, but it was cool to see that he was upbeat about it. You know what I'm saying? It's great to see, you know, him leaving on the top of his game. And everybody came out to support him, even Stephen Colbert, which is another person who I heavily look up to so john yeah i don't know if you're listening to this but if you are i want to say thank you and uh good luck on whatever you do in the future buddy speaking of stupidity what the heck is going on with meek mill and drake okay let me stress this right off the bat i do not care about rap beefs i don't okay i think it gets in the way and i think all it does is just start drama that doesn't need to be started but meek mill uh, if, if you probably have known, Meek Mill a few weeks ago said that Drake doesn't write his own rhymes, and that caused Drake to make countless, countless diss tracks about Meek Mill. And um, if you want to know how I feel about it, I don't care. I really do not, because it is a waste of time. Listen, you both are rich, okay? You do not need to go against each other, okay? Can't you, whatever happened to just making music and moving on? I mean, what's the deal with this beef? I mean, listen, if you want a beef, this isn't even a rap beef. A real rap beef was Tupac and Biggie. That was a real rap beef. This is just some stuff that started over Twitter. And everyone knows that Twitter beefs are so productive. Look, if I'm Meek Mill, why am I complaining for? I get to come home to this. Nicki Minaj, I mean, why would I complain? Okay, I can think of certain ways why you could complain, but listen, end this beef Please, it's unproductive, and we have a lot of other things to do. Now, I want to apologize to you all, because not too long ago, I promised you a review of the new Vacation movie. But since this is my first week back, I haven't gotten the chance to see it. And besides, the reviews haven't exactly been positive. And if I know anything, if I smell smoke, I don't go near the fire. However, a movie that I'm really excited to see, and I mean really excited to see, is this movie, Deadpool. Holy cow, I saw the trailer for this earlier this week, and I lost my mind. I couldn't believe how awesome it is. It's about a man named Wade Wilson who is stricken with cancer, and while he hoped that the healing program that he received would cure it, it left him with disfigured skin, accelerated healing powers, and a dark, twisted sense of humor. Now he's out for the guy that almost ended his life. And let me tell you something, when you see this trailer, which I left in the description box for you, you will be amazed. I mean, it's a hard R, it's rated R, and it's got everything. Violence, blood, guts, spleens. Okay, I don't know about the last two, but it's got everything in it, and I can't wait to see it when it comes out February 12th. Now, this is an interesting story. Sony Pictures recently announced the new films they got coming out within the next few years. And this is a surprising one. They announced Bad Boys 3 in 2017 and Bad Boys 4 in 2019. Now, I'm going to be honest. I don't remember the first two Bad Boys that much. I mean, I remember certain scenes, but I do remember the chemistry between Martin Lawrence and Will Smith. And that was excellent chemistry. I mean, these two guys, you would think they were really friends, which I'm sure they are. But, but when I heard about they were making a Bad Boys 4, 
I became a little confused. I'm like, we don't even know if Bad Boys 3 is going to be any good. I mean, slow your road. I know you're excited about the franchise, but we don't know if it's going to be any good yet. Now, over the internet, people suggested that maybe the two actors are getting a little bit old, so they figured they might introduce some new characters, and one suggested Kevin Hart. Now, Kevin, I love you, buddy. I really do, but please stay away from this movie. I mean, you got too much going on. I mean, come on, stay away from it. I know you're tempted. I know it's a good paycheck, but sit this one out. But in all seriousness, I can't wait for this movie. I'm glad they're revisiting the franchise, and I cannot wait to see what magic they come up with this time. And finally, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that while we were on break, we lost Bobby Christina Brown, who died of a drug overdose. 22 is a very young age to lose anybody, and it's a sad story to hear. We also lost wrestling legend Rowdy Roddy Piper at the age of 61 from a heart attack. This guy was one of the greatest heels of all time. I mean, you never knew what was going to come out of his mouth. At the same time, he had a heart of gold, so it's sad to see him gone. And may him and Bobby Christina rest in peace. And that will do it for another edition of the Ballistic Report. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, all my social media outlets are in the description box below. And if you have any comments of the stories you heard today, leave it in the comments section below. And until next week, I've been your talented host, Ike Moore, reminding you it's okay to be ballistic as long as it's done responsibly. Good night, Internet.